It's December 2nd and it's really cold. I just got out of the gym. I think it's about 9 a.m. So I'm gonna run downtown to the next patisserie. It's not as formal as the one that I went to yesterday. So like, am I wearing sweatpants? Yes, but I'm also not going to their main establishment. I'm just going to their little train station shop. So it's like much more cash, you know, it's cash, cash, cash little patisserie. I'm sorry. My endorphins are like through the roof. I'm trying to do a lot of cardio this month. I bet you can guess why. And so <laughs> I just spent like 70 minutes on the treadmill. I basically just alternate between walking at an incline, jogging, and then I walk at like an extreme incline, like I crank that sucker up to 12, and then I run sprints, and then I walk, and then I jog, and then I, I'd like I basically just rotate through all of those for 60 to 70 minutes. And that's a good like four to 500 calories. So that's about a patisserie. So <laughs> I'm just trying to not look like the Michelin man at the end of this one. I'm gonna head downtown, get the goods, and then head home, and then I'll switch to like my good camera and my good sound. I don't know why I'm winking at you. Maybe you like it, I don't know. Okay, I just reviewed that footage and I look like a pig in a blanket. I look like one of those little weenies that they serve at cocktail parties. That is all, thank you. All right, folks, did we, oh putain, did we screw up yesterday? Perhaps a little bit. Are we so far gone that we cannot fix our error? Absolutely not. We can do anything. This is Vlogmas. So, as I mentioned yesterday, while putting my little sticky notes up on the wall, which, you know, making these was quite time consuming. I'm a little proud of myself. It was, um, you know, I put, I put in some effort, okay? I put in a lot of effort here. Please go. Now, as I discussed yesterday, when I was putting these beautiful sticky notes up on the wall after spending a lot of time creating them by hand, I accidentally switched December 1st with December 2nd. That means that yesterday I went to uh, the place that I had intended to go on December 1st. Now, normally that would not be such a big deal. However, I had strategically planned to visit this bakery the day before visiting this bakery because I wanted to compare their gaufre. What we're gonna have to do here is just do a little bit of a little bit a little bit of fiddling around. We went here yesterday. That was December first. This is where we went today. We're gonna put that here. We're gonna pretend this says December second. And then tomorrow we'll we'll go we'll go here. Am I a little bit bothered that I've got two pink sticky notes in a row? I won't lie. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. So today, where did I go? Well, after I went to the gym to burn off all the calories from that delicious vanilla tart that I had yesterday. I went downtown to Au Merveilleux de Fred. Again, ignore the date here, just pretend that's, that's not a thing. That's not a thing, don't worry about that, okay? I went downtown to Au Merveilleux de Fred. That's point one. Point two is that yesterday, I came in here completely unprepared to rate 24 different patisseries. What was I thinking? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I did this in the last minute. Look, man, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Did you expect anything less of me? I will now be grading all of these patisseries, bakeries, and chocolate makers on a five-point hedonic scale. I will bring... <laughs> I need to eat. <sighs> this is how much fun you can have all by yourself, folks. <laughs> I've got the giggles now. I will be grading them on a... <laughs> I will be grading them upon three different aspects. Atmosphere, selection of their tasty treats, and tastiness of their tasty treats. It doesn't need to be more complex than that, okay? Let's keep it real. I'm not a professional. <laughs> As for the hedonic scale, it will range all the way from super yuck to yuck to maybe yuck and maybe yummy to yummy, to super yummy. That's all I have to say about all of that. Now let us move on to the kitchen. I need some coffee and I need a pastry. 
I don't need a pastry, but I'm gonna have a pastry. <laughs> Cut to the slumber food porn. from this angle today and uh, with better equipment yay <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I'm wearing my glasses my eyes are very tired so I'm doing glasses today also I started this video without thinking about the fact that I'm wearing them and I don't know if you experience this phenomenon but like you you see someone with glasses first and then they take the glasses off and suddenly it's like wait a minute that's not right but if you meet someone with no glasses and then they put glasses on you don't have the same experience. It's like, oh, they're wearing glasses. Those glasses look nice. On like the glasses become a part of them, but there's something about the inverse of that. I feel like there should be a name for that phenomenon, like, like the Buddy Holly phenomenon or something, you know? Have you ever seen Buddy Holly without his glasses? It's weird. He does not have a memorable face. That's why he needed the glasses. The only time that I have seen this not work, like the only time that I have seen somebody put glasses on and I, I'm like, that's not right. That is not right. Howie Mandel. Oh, there's a hair in my eye. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please. No, you have to get out of my eye. Okay. I thought we were gonna have to start hostage negotiations. Okay, so today, I woke up at like 5.30 in the morning. That's pretty typical for me. I'm an early bird. And then I went to the gym and then I hopped on the metro, ran downtown to the next patisserie. Yeah, I was wearing like a parka and sweatpants, but this place is a little less formal than the place I was at yesterday. I know Sig, who left a comment on my vlog yesterday, is originally from Lille, and they seemed surprised <laughs> that I would consider Mirt to be such a formal place. But I mean, when you walk in, you're ushered through like velvet ropes, and then a woman approaches you immediately, like before you've even reached the case with the pastries, she approaches you and you know, it just, it feels very formal. And then as you step into the next room, you know, you pick your pastry or whatever, you step into the next room where they have the gaufre, the waffles, and tea and you know, other things, it's like entering a church. It's very elaborate. I mean, my, my cell phone footage yesterday didn't really do it justice, but it is. It's like entering, you know, the grand temple of Gauffre in Lille. It's beautiful, but it's very elaborate. And to me, it feels like some kind of holy place. And I would say that the mannerisms of the staff, etc., are a little more on the formal side. That's just my opinion. I'm not from Lille, so maybe someone from Lille would be like, ah, it's just milt. I mean, when you walk in, the women are dressed very nicely and they give you that little bag with the ribbons. It's like a bag that you would get from a really nice high-end store. So I don't think that my perception of this place is very far off. I do take back, however, saying that it's a tourist trap. If you come to Lille, you should absolutely go to Mielt. And as you could tell from my video yesterday, the pastry was just mind blowing. Another thing I was thinking about on the treadmill, besides you know people wearing glasses or not wearing glasses and Howie Mandel, is uh, I received a really sweet message from Ginger Plant Lady on Instagram this morning. And she was just kind of talking about how I need to you know shrug off the judgment of others. And I know that yesterday I was kind of overzealous in my storytelling about this guy who like shook his head at me. So she said she got into a fight with her fiance about it. <laughs> I didn't mean to start any fights, okay? <laughs> you know, her fiance was saying, you know, maybe people shouldn't just be filming every second of their life all the time, putting it on the internet. And I, I actually care to agree with him a little bit. I think that a lot of people spend most of their time staring at the world through their phone and not really experiencing anything. And that's kind of why I'm not really like a consistent every day or every week vlogger. It's, I mean, not only am I already kind of overwhelmed with work between Betsy Begonia and trying to get Little Miss Wiggy off the ground, but I really feel like recording everything just takes me out of my experience as a person. 
And so I kind of agree to him to some extent, ginger plant lady, you know? That's all I have to say about that. But she was saying, you know, the guy should just kept to himself. Even if he was judging, he should not have shaken his head. And you know what else I think though? I think that I probably wouldn't have noticed that guy if I wasn't already hyper paranoid that that exact situation would happen. Because I was afraid that somebody would look at me judgmentally. Oh, who cares, you know? So, you know, maybe that guy should lighten up. Maybe I should lighten up. That's all, I, that's, that's all. I just had to get that off my chest. So let's move on to the pastry, huh? Uh, my camera angle is about to change because I totally forgot to take some close-up B-roll of me slicing into this beautiful, beautiful pastry. Whoa, wow, what an editing trick. Fantastic, fabulous, jolly good show. What, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Are we going somewhere? that the rest of us, I feel like you're making your own decisions, but you have to talk to the rest of the group if you wanna go off path. We need to know where you are at all times. Today I went to Omerie de Fred. Actually, I think it's Belgian, but it's quite popular here in Lille. They make these little meringue cakes. Na -na 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 -na. It's kind of a sad, kind of a sad celebratory trumpet that I just made. So, da -da 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 -da! Let's try this. Just make it a little happier. <laughs> this is vlogmas. Boom, 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 boom. I do feel like this is a death march in terms of sugar intake. <laughs> so this is called a merveilleux, and there are a few different flavors. I got the chocolate one. It's like the original merveilleux. So you have like a little meringue biscuit, and then you have whipped cream, and then it's sandwiched by another meringue biscuit, and then the whole thing is covered by some whipped cream and little flakes of chocolate or white chocolate or you know whichever flavor you get. We're gonna dig into this, and then after that, I'm gonna talk gouffre. Mario Fred doesn't just make these, they also make these tasty little like brioche type buns that don't have a lot of sugar in them, but they've got like little chocolate sprinkles on top, and then they make gouffre, and gouffre are very popular up here in the north and in Belgium. Gouffre is the word for waffle, but we're not talking about like big old waffles. They're like thin wafer waffles with filling in the middle. My favorite is the gouffre vergeoise. It's the first one that I ever had. Actually, the first time I had a gouffre was from Merveilleux au Fred, but their location in Paris before I had ever come to Lille. And then I visited Lille in, I think 2018, just like a day trip to Lille, and that's the first time that I tried milt. And I remember that day very well, because I said to myself, I do not like the gaufre from milt. They just do not compare. So is it a situation in which like I had become accustomed to, I had favored the gaufre of Merveille de Fred? Today on Betsy Does Vlogmas. In my head, I just talk so much. Why do I talk so much? A little bite of any of this. I've got some meringue. I've got some whipped cream from the top and I've got some chocolate flakes. It's pretty stupid good. It's delicious. This is a lot to eat. I treat myself to a pastry from a, you know, pâtisserie or a bakery like twice a year. I don't really indulge much in stuff like this, so this month is pretty intense for me. And I think it's also why I was so blown away by that vanilla tart that I had yesterday. So having something like this is really a delight. And I do go here like maybe once a year. For my birthday, I went last year. I usually get four mini cakes. I've never gotten one this size. It's, it's a lot. I just spit on myself. I'm sorry, I'm salivating. That's a lot. It's like a lot of meringue, it's a lot of cream. It's a lot of chocolate flakes. I really like it because it's so light and fluffy. So I wanna indulge but I don't wanna get something really heavy, like a chocolate tart, something like that. I wanna talk about these waffles, all right? I'm not gonna 
waffles, the gaufre from Miot. I'm gonna try their vanilla waffle today and, because it's their basic flavor. They don't have vergeoise, which blows my mind. Vergeoise is like brown sugar and it's hard to find it anywhere in France except the north, unless you go to like a really big supermarket in Paris, you can probably find it. But here in Lille, it's much more common. So this is like dark brown sugar, this is light brown sugar. That's pretty much it. That's my favorite type of gauche, is the kind with the brown sugar on the inside. I'm being presentational again, I'm sorry. Okay, I wanna try the Vergeois first, because I already know what this tastes like. It's already my favorite. And I think that this has a much stronger flavor. It's so good. Mmm, it's so sweet. Everybody and their brother makes waffles in the north of France. These ones are so good. The waffle is a little bit soft, it's chewy. You have to like pull it apart. And the filling is like, it's buttery, it's creamy. It is a little sweet, but it might just be that I'm <laughs> stay two and I'm already like sugared out. It's, you know, it's made of sugar, so it's sugary. And there's a hint of rum. That's what really makes these unique. It's got a little kick to it. Not too much, all right? I'm not getting drunk over here. I need a palate cleanser. Does coffee work? Okay, so this is the vanilla bean melt, and you can see the you can see the beans. Like that place is high class. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. No. I'm sorry, it's not for me. It's just too sugary. It's too much. It's just too much for me. You've got sugar. It's not vergeoise. It's like white sugar. It's vanilla. It's like a lot of vanilla. And I told you, I love vanilla. It's my favorite flavor. But it's just like, it's so much. It's like candy to me. I really prefer the wafers from Merlieu au Fred. Uh, I'm sorry, Mirt. I'm sorry, all you, all you Mirt fans out there. But uh, I think they make a better wafer. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> This may not have been a great idea. Oh, price! Okay, so yesterday I spent $12.50 at Mielt for the pastry, which was $6.50, and then two waffles, for like three bucks a pop. And then today I spent $11.50 on this whole pack of waffles that I absolutely can't eat. I will find someone, I will find a victim to take my waffles. So yeah, $11.30 for the waffles and the Melvilleux. A little cheaper. But the Melvieu is clearly not as decadent as the vanilla tart was. It's not as heavy, it's very light, it's just meringue and whipped cream, you know what I mean? So, again, more than I plan to spend on a daily basis. I just wanted to compare the wafers from both of these places, so that's why I spent a little extra these past two days. So as I stated earlier, I will be grading these places on atmosphere, selection of tasty treats, and tastiness of said tasty treats, or the one tasty treat that I happen to choose. So, the atmosphere of Myrt. Maybe yucky, maybe yummy. I think it depends on who you are and what you're looking for in like an entire experience. For me, it's a little over the top. The velvet ropes, the person who approaches you, it's, I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm in the shopping center, like at Sephora, and somebody immediately comes up to me like, can I help you, can I help you? What are you looking for today? Do you, do you need my assistance? As for Myrt's selection, I'm gonna say super yummy. They had a pretty good selection of pastries. I wish I had gotten some footage, but I felt so nervous because that woman was like there waiting for me. And as for tastiness, super yummy. I mean, that tart was amazing. The gaufre, I think that anyone besides me would just love these. I think everybody loves these. It's just, it's a little too much. It's like a punch in the face. It's like a vanilla sugar. It's like a one-two. But I think if you go to Mirth, you won't be disappointed. Oh, Merveilleux de Fred, uh, the atmosphere is quite yummy. I'm gonna say it's yummy. There's no pressure on you. You know, you walk in, you get to take a looky-loo, and I really like that you get to see them making the cakes. That's kind of a cool experience. Like, it's a whole experience. It's like walking into their workshop, and you get to see people working on the pastries. They also, you know, you don't even have to go inside. You can see it through the window. They're always really kind and friendly to me as well when I go there. Like, today, I wanted to get a bit more footage of the interior. Yesterday I was a little too nervous to ask, but today, you know, I just asked her, is it okay if I take a little video of the cakes? And she said, yeah, that's fine. Super yummy. You know what? Super yummy atmosphere. It's fun. I think kids would love it as well because they get to, you know, there's action happening. The selection. So I'm going to go with maybe yucky, maybe yummy because it's like their selection never changes. It's like a dependable, like you go there because you know what you want and that's what you're gonna get. 
Whereas with other pâtisseries, you know, they, they change it up. If you go there once every few months, you're gonna see something different or seasonal. Well, I think that's it, I think that's everything. And now I gotta go edit this video and put it up so that I can work on filming another video for another channel. I gotta make some Hoya trellises. I had a lot of people ask me to show them how I make Hoya trellises, so. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. That was so presentational. It was so presentational. Look, man, if you tune in tomorrow, I'll be here, okay? You can depend on me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crap out on you. Please come back tomorrow. The pistachio and criotte. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.